Hey guys, welcome back to the next video and let's start creating our application, right? So, all excited. Let's go ahead. Um, to create an app, we have the option over here, create new app. So, let's click it over here. It is asking us what is the name of my app. So, in the background, I have a sales related data, which I will be using a very simple data in the very um you know straightforward there is nothing much uh, to really understand about it because it's some orders related to the sales and uh, uh, showing different properties like how much discount how much profit by what ship mode etc you have done the sales so let's explore that and give a name as sales and let's create it sales was successfully created and uh, over here as you can see this is our new app so let's go ahead and open an app and over here the very first screen is asking us two options adding data from files and other sources script editor so first thing is definitely we want to add the data and if you need to massage the data or transform the data into our required output format for our analysis need we will use the script editor but that is for our later videos first let's go ahead and add some files so i just clicked it over there and over here there are a lot of options as you can see so you have on the left hand side um, manual entry my computer click data market and then amazon redshift and number of options you can actually pause the video and read all of these things but some of the important one if i say is salesforce a lot uh, we use a lot oracle right odbc connection sql server amazon redshift gaining popularity every day right and rest of the others like google bigquery all of these things are at our disposal that that we can actually connect to and utilize it all right so what we will do is for now i will just select my computer and in my computer it will ask me where the file is saved so i will go in c um users and on my desktop so i'm just going there um over here I have I should have the sales file yep sales.xls what I will do is I will give you the link of the same file um, in the description so you can watch it from there so if I just click on the sales.xls what it has given me is a very simple um, screen where on the left hand side I have the information about the different sheets I have order sheets I have returns the orders that have been returns and some users in the third sheet so i am right now only interested in the first sheet so that's what it has been checked if i need both the sheets i can check returns or if i need all the sheets i will just check them and by default it has uh, sensed that uh, it is a excel format and that's why it has uh, populated it embedded field name is basically indicates that first row within the excel file contains the field name if it is like the second row or third row we will we can change it plus from plus over here and it will take the second first row or the second row or the third row as the uh, as the name of the uh, fields if uh, i want to remove any of the columns for example row number i really don't need row number right so i can just uncheck this and this will not be part of my application right and you have the option to basically go in and uh, view the entire data and uh, we have other options like uh, filters and all so let me uh, show that to you in a different video but for now over here let's simply go ahead and add the data and let's keep it very simple so data loaded successfully in just one second it was a very small data i think not even like 10,000 rows so so pretty quick close now over here we are in the um we are in this app and over here we have got these different fields uh, first option is let get started with the insights where you can search your data field uh, search your data for field or concepts so it generates some quick insights uh, apart from that if you see over here this is the insight section and this section is basically something about selection tools the 
the fields that are available for selection. So let's go ahead and see this. So what it has is basically your selections that you can make on. So for example, these fields like customer name, customer segment, discount uh, are calculated and so on and so forth. I can simply go in and uh, drag it down. So in that case, if you need uh, to see all of the fields which are there for you, you can actually come to to this option which is kind of a all selection or selection tool for all of the filters that is available for you so and if i go back to quick insights get started with the insights let let's generate some insight and see what it has to give us so once we have just clicked on that it has created some good visualization for us and you can see all of these visualization are getting created automatically so even if you are a new user and you are not at all aware about what how i will going to create some sort of a chart so you can simply cl click on this generate insights and what it has done is order id by sale so which order id has got uh, the maximum sale so it's it's in a sorted manner manner again pareto chart uh, kind of 80 percent of the sales are coming from the 20 percent of the products so it applies that rule and as you can see over here these four categories are generating the most sales and that's what it is indicating and uh, then you have sum of sales year to date by order date right and then sales broken by product category then you have broken by province order priority and all a different type of chart then uh, overview of province by product subcategory and sum of sales so these are like province like Ontario, Alberta, Quebec, Nova Scotia, all of these British Columbia, looks like a Canadian one. So after that you have uh, ship mode over ship date, uh, sum of sales and profit, sum of price over ship date. All of these different dimensions it has identified and the measures it has identified and given us. It's a pretty interesting chart. Um, sum of profit and sum of sales for province clearly indicating that uh, this is the one which is really having the good profit as well as good sales right similar chart over here uh, but with some sort of a conditional formatting right so this is what it has generated um, uh, some insights for us and if you are interested we have the option of adding it to a sheet uh to a my new sheet or you can create a new sheet over here so this is about uh, a quick overview of your uh, application creation we explored this selection tool and uh, we generated some insights and in the next video uh, let's let's talk further and let's start creating some of our charts